Equation 15.4 is one of the fundamental equations of thermodynamics. It links the equilibrium constant K to the standard Gibbs energy change delta G. Notice that it's the thermodynamic equilibrium constant we're talking about and the standard Gibbs energy change in this equation. Let's pick out a couple of key features of the equation. First, notice that we're using the natural logarithm of k and second, note the negative sign here. This means that the more positive k is, the more negative delta G standard will be. This makes sense because we know that highly spontaneous reactions have a large positive value for k and a large negative value for delta G. Box 15.3 shows how this equation is derived and I won't go through the derivation in detail but I'll show you the key features. They're picked out over here on the right. First, we imagine the simplest possible reaction in which one mole of reactant produces one mole of product. For this reaction, delta G is equal to the Gibbs energy of the product minus the Gibbs energy of the reactant. G product minus G reactant. Now comes a key step. We use this equation, which is from chapter 14, equation 14.20, which says that the Gibbs energy of any substance is equal to its standard Gibbs energy plus RT logarithm of the activity of the substance, A. Remember, for a gas, A is the partial pressure of the gas divided by the standard pressure, and for a solution, A is the concentration of the solute divided by the standard concentration. And we can write an expression like that for both the reactant and the product. And now we can substitute this expression for G product and G reactant into the expression that we've already written for delta G. That gives us this expression here. And then if you simplify and gather the terms together, you will reduce that to this expression here. Delta G for a reaction is delta G standard plus RT log activity of the product over activity of the reactant. Now we come to the final key step. So far, that expression is for a reaction at any stage, not necessarily at equilibrium. But let's look at what it turns into uh, when it is at equilibrium. First, at equilibrium, delta G reaction is zero. And secondly, at equilibrium, A product over A reactant is equal to the equilibrium constant K. So now we've got zero equals delta G standard plus RT log K. If we now take delta G to the left hand side and change the sign, you've got equation 15.4. Read through box 15.3 to get all the details of the derivation, but that's the outline. 